right here because if it's on the red and i make an adjustment it's going to affect the skin tone as you can see but since we don't want it to affect the skin tone let me show you how you, to do, how you can do that just come to this your um range right here and just take it out of the red so make sure it's not affecting the red just make sure it starts from the yellows like that what's up you welcome back to another video in today's video i'm going to show you guys how i color graded this image so this was the image before and this is after color grading and i'm going to show you how i color graded this skin tone and also if you choose to change the background from this yellow to this color right here i'm also going to show you how you can do that so let's get started so i'm just going to delete this my color grading folder right here and show you guys how i do it from scratch okay so um i've already done the basic adjustment for this image so if you want to learn how i retouch this image right here from start to finish i'll be leaving a link to that video in the description below so for the color grading the first thing i'm going to do i'm just going to create a levels adjustment layer to add contrast to this image so i'll come to my adjustment layer here or you can come down here just click on your adjustment layer and click on your levels adjustment layer right here and just move this um shadows part to the side like this until you feel you're getting that dark look so i think seven is okay and for the highlight i'm just going to push it inside a little bit like this so let's quickly see the before and after of that so this is the before and this is the after i've added um that contrast to this image now the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to um, make the skin look a little bit rich and more darker so to do that first of all i'll set my foreground and background color right here to default to default black and white so i'll make black my um, foreground and make white my background and just come to your adjustment layer click on your gradient map and it's going to be black and white like this so after that i'm just going to change this place to classic and um, just come to my adjustment layer and just change it to multiply like this and just reduce the opacity to 30 or 40 say let, let, let's use 40 for this image i think 40 works okay 40 is okay now see the before and after so you can see we're giving this image that rich that tone you can choose to leave your color grade like this if you want to i'm just going to go a little bit further and color grade is optional and just do what you feel right for your image but for me i'm just going to go a bit further and next i'm going to do i'm just going to come to my selective color i'm just going to work on the um reds and the yellows of the skin to make it look a little bit much darker and a little bit much much richer so i come to my selective color and i'll uh, come to my red first for the red i'm just going to re um, remove blacks for this image so i'll take my blacks to minus uh, let's say minus 10 or let's just say 11 to minus 11 and uh, i'm just going to add magentas to this image so for my magentas i'm just going to um, move it to this side to plus one just a little bit of magenta because if i take it all the way up the image is going to be look um red i don't want the image to be um red like this so i'm just going to add a little bit of magenta like this little, let's say plus one i think plus one is okay so just play with your sliders and see which one works for you but if you want to get this kind of color grading on this image right here just follow the step and you're going to get it now the next thing i'm going to do for this image i come to my cyan i'm just going to add science to this image yes um let's say plus eight i don't want it to be too much so just take your time to do it so the next thing i'm going to do i'll come to my yellows so once on my yellows i'm just going to um come to my blacks and just remove blacks from the yellows as well so i think minus four is okay or you can use minus five so just play with your sliders and see which one works for you i'm just going to leave this one in minus five or minus six whichever it's just a little different let's see the before and after of what we just did so this is the before and this is the after the before and the after you can see the image has that dark feel but i'm just going to reduce the opacity a little bit so i'm just going to take the opacity down to 50 like this because i want this image to look as natural as possible and also to make it look good now the next thing i'm going to do right now i'll just come to my vibrance add vibrance to this image so i come to my adjustment layer again add a vibrance adjustment layer i'm just going to move my vibrance all the way up to let's say plus 20 25 or 23 23 is okay let's just move it up to um 27 or 28 so whichever so see the before and see the after so i've added vibrance to this image and it's affecting only the skin tone it's not affecting the background it's just affecting only the skin tone so next thing i'm going to do, i'll just come to my color balance because i want to add a little bit of colors to the shadow area 
So I'll come to my adjustment layer, come to my color balance, and just come to my shadows. And for my shadows, I'm just going to add a little bit of science to the shadows to make it look a little bit bluish. Like this, I think minus five is okay. Or let's see, uh, minus five is okay for my science. After that, I'll come to my yellow sliders. I'm just going to add blues to the shadows area as well. So I'll come to my sliders right here and just add blues to this shadows area. I think um, plus four works for me. Okay. Now the next thing I'm going to do right, I'm just going to add brightness to this image. First, before I do that, let me show you before and after of our color um, balance we just did. So this is before our color balance. This is after our color balance. Now the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to add brightness to this image using my curves adjustment layer. So I'll just come to my adjustment layer again, click on my curves right here, and just come to my default. This preset right here, come to lighter RGB. And I've added brightness to this image as you can see see the before and see the after now the next thing i'm going to do i feel this image is still looking a little bit um kind of reddish so i just want to work, work on it a little bit so i'll come back to my selective color create another selective color just make layer like this and just come to my reds again because this came to consist of yellows and reds that's why i'm working with my yellows and red in my selective color so I'll just add a little bit of science to this uh, red as well to make it look a little bit darker. So I'll add a little bit of science. So let's say plus eight. And um, another thing I'm going to do, I'll come to my blacks, remove blacks for this image. So let's say minus four. No, minus four is okay. I don't want to do too much or minus three. So next thing I'm going to do, I feel the image, is, um, the magenta of the image is too much. So if I take it all the way up like this, you can see I'm adding magenta. But if I take it to this side, I'm adding greens to this, and to this image. So I'm going to add a little bit of greens to this image. So I'm going to take my sliders to the green side a little bit i think um, um minus two is okay so next i'm going to do i'll come to my yellows and i'll just come to my blacks and just reduce blacks a little bit on the yellows i think minus 10 works for me so on that time i'm going to do i'll come to the magenta and just um add a little bit of greens to the magenta like this for the yellow sliders so i think uh, minus 10 as well works for me or let's say minus minus eight minus seven works for me okay now let me just group everything i just did and just show you the before and after for the skin tone so um gradient map or levels ctrl g so this is the before and this is the after before and after you can see this image is looking better right now and if you feel your adjustment is too much you can choose to reduce the overall opacity and just get your image the way you want but i feel it's okay like this i'm just going to leave it in 100 so lastly for this image next i'm going to show you i want to show you how to, you can change that uh, color of the background and also for the shirt if you choose to to make it match with this glass right here but you can choose to leave your image like this if you want to but i'm just going to show you how to change it just in case you prefer that so just come to your hue and saturation adjustment layer right here after that click on this master right here and just come to the yellows because if you are leave it on this master and you just make any adjustment it's going to affect the whole image and we, just, and we don't want that we want this effects to affect only the yellows on the image so that's why you have to come to your yellows so look for your ye yellows right here click on your yellows and also for this range right here you have to take it away from the reds right here because if it's on the red and i make an adjustment it's going to affect the skin tone as you can see but since we don't want it to affect the skin tone let me show you how you to do, how you can do that just come to this your um range right here and just take it out of the reds so make sure it's not affecting the reds just make sure it starts from the yellows like that and if i make any adjustment right now it's not going to be affecting the skin it's just going to be affecting only the yellows so i'm not going to move my hue to this side and just see which one works best for this image it's not looking good i want you to have that glass look i want you to have the colors on the glass so i'm going to move it towards the green side like this so you can see we are getting close to what we want so you can choose to leave it right here if you choose to and that's what you can do you can make it brighter and you can make it darker i think i'm just going to make it a little bit darker and you can choose to increase the saturation or you can choose to decrease the saturation for this image i think i'm just going to increase the saturation to plus eight and you can choose to reduce the opacity if you want to so let me just quickly add this to the group and show you the overall before and after this is the before and this is the after so this is the overall before and after this is the before and this is the after so guys that's how i color graded this image and this is how you can also color grade your image so if you enjoyed this video or you learned anything from this video make sure to give this video a like so that more people can see this video and learn from this video as well 
and also if you want to watch how i retouch this image from start to finish so this is before and this is after make sure to click on this video showing your screen right now i'll see you guys in my next video stay creative